June 29th, year 11, at 1 a.m. Entry 114. Dark Honey Eyes, Seduction, Sorcery, Joy. Today was another day well spent with Matt G. I enjoy spending time with him immensely, and I still enjoy observing his features very much. Today we hung out at YPI briefly playing Smash Bros. It turns out that Matt is pretty good at it. We helped Ben's friend Taya move some stuff to her new place, walked to a place and ate some Greek food followed by a movie at the mall. Bad teacher? We spent the whole day together, more than 25 hours, he said, which was a feat. I had thought about it, and circumspectly, that must mean he finds me tolerable for long periods of time, <laughs> which is a good thing. Nay, a great thing. Um, in the movie theater, I saw something in him. I'm not quite sure what it was, but every time something funny happened in the movie, I turned to watch him laugh and smile. He looked younger, happier, more innocent, and very emotive. Unlike usual. It was all so pleasing to observe. I took to discreetly doing it, bracket, watching him, end bracket. Every time something funny happened in the movie, Although sometimes I wasn't so discreet and his beautiful honey eyes caught me and helped him and he smiled and I smiled and it was nice but strange for some reason. And then I realized I was missing the movie so I had to will myself not to look at him anymore. But I still continued to observe him discreetly. In those moments when he was laughing and smiling in the front row of that dark theater and in a seat parallel to me, he reminded me of someone or something but I couldn't place it. Those dark eyes, brightly smiling, revealed his true emotions released from a protective veil to surround him, maintain him. I'm not sure what I saw. Maybe an anime or video game character? Maybe an old friend that was long missed and gone? Maybe his true spirit? But I liked it. And the most I can do is wonder if I've ever felt this way before. Why do we as humans vibe with certain people in unique and wholly pleasant ways and not with others as easily? I can only imagine how different and pure the world would be if everyone were predisposed and exposed to such experiences more easily. Ah, one other thing of note. I met Matt on August 19th of year 10. What piqued my interest that day were his eyes when they first met mine. 41 days earlier, on July 8th of year 10, I was studying pagan magic and wrote a spell of seduction that incidentally referred to seduction by the eyes also. I wonder if there's any correlation. Also, I started reading a bit of the Kabbalah today and thought I should buy uh, buy it, but didn't want to spend the money. Matt went half on it with me. A quote-unquote potential investment, he called it. Today was great. Bracket. I uh, thought about putting the spell here, but maybe that's the bad idea. Also, I'm slightly embarrassed by the thought of the general populace reading certain poems that I've written. <laughs> It's a rhyming poem that I wrote a year or two ago, but we'll leave it at that. No spells of seduction for you guys. Ha <laughs> ha! End bracket.